there's lots of anxiety present for me today. Not lots, just a little bit. And I'm sure you can feel it already. Um, what I've noticed though is the massive, massive shift in the way that I approach it and the way that I deal with it. I'm just going to this down. So in the past, I would have my anxiety triggered by something and all of a sudden I would find myself with this like underlying like anxious static that was kind of like sitting here and it would just like permeate through my life. And I'd find myself like running around sort of chasing things. And what my reaction then was a lot of self-judgment. And it was this piece around you shouldn't be feeling like this. And we need to do something to fix this. So I used to think of my anxiety as like this little like excess energy, like this little spot. I'm doing this. You can't see it. <laughs> I used to think of it as like this excess little spark that I needed to somehow get out of my body. And I used to do that through over exercising, running around, dancing in my living room, kind of just trying to like get it out, literally get it out. And today, for the first time, I noticed that when my anxiety kicked in, another voice did too. And it was the voice of myself as a parent <laughs> saying to a child, hey, baby girl, I can see that you're feeling really anxious. Are you okay? What's going on? Do we need to slow down? Do you want to rest? How can I help you? <laughs> like quantum shift. Insane. So insane. So when I came on this afternoon, I actually wanted to come on like this. <laughs> I genuinely wanted to come on without my top on. And a little part of me was like, no, your mom's going to see this. And that's genuinely why I'm not here in a bra. Um, and I know there's absolutely nothing wrong with showing up in a bra. Logically, I know that here, I'm yet to understand that fully. I'm yet to embody that fully. Um, it still feels like <sighs> it still feels like I'd be judged for being overly sexual. Even though I feel like so much of like what wants to be like, come through me in these videos and be transmitted is like a sexual energy and like an erotic, like it's got erotic undertones and like an erotic vibe. Um, I was watching this. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> the whole point of these videos is to feel good, right? The whole point of these videos is to reconnect me with my pleasure and to find ways I can show up in my pleasure. <sighs> and I feel like I want to transmit like that. Uh, I feel like I really want to transmit that. Like, I feel like I really want to give that. Like, I feel like if there's some way and I know that there is where I could or like for me to sort of be so deeply in my pleasure here that it transfers or transmits or like you feel it um, through the screen and it comes through here to you and you can like feel it and you can receive it and you can deeply, fully
would it be of service? How I'm interpreting that, would this be of service? For you to see this, for you to feel this, would it feel good? And so much of what I feel like wants to come through is this sexual transmission and is this erotic energy. And I feel like there's a part of me that's like resisting that because it's not okay to have girls on camera. It's not okay to be one of those girls on film. It's not okay to express your eroticism and your erotic energy and your creative, like your creativity in that way. Because it's like... So much of me just wants to like, oh. Oh. I had this download come through again this morning about <sighs> don't hold yourself hostage to yesterday's identity and it was like <sighs> <sighs> it was like this feeling that I could literally be anything that I wanted and I could show up in any way that I wanted to. Mm. <laughs> it's so funny. There's this voice inside me even now being like, make love to the camera. And that's what it feels like. And this whole journey has felt like pleasure. I was joking with myself today. Does anyone else do that? Do you just have jokes with yourself? I do it all the time. I was joking with myself today that I'm on a self-pleasure, I'm in a self-pleasure retreat at the moment and this journey that I'm on feels like, feels like going inward, it definitely feels like a journey. Yeah, but it feels like going inward and it feels like pulling away from the world and it feels like pulling back to go deep, to dive deep and every time I go and like seek for something literally even outside my house or outside my bedroom, actually outside my room's a bit much. I do go outside my room a fair bit. <laughs> but every time I wanna like seek for something outside, literally of the house, I check in and <sighs> the download that came through this afternoon was that I'd been asking to learn about non-attachment and the download that came through this afternoon was that there's nothing you can experience or feel out there that you can't also or first experience in here <laughs> it was literally like there's nothing out there that you can't find in here there's no experience that you can have out there that you can't first find in here there's no human that you can't find out there that you can't first find in here there's no thing that you can't can find out there that you can't first find in here and that was just like boom it just dropped in this whole non-attachment piece of like, of course, why would I be attached to anything of the world when I can cultivate it all in here, when I can find it all in here, when I create it all in here?
I think so much of this is about me wanting to be witnessed in my beauty. Not like beauty out there beauty, but like beauty here beauty. And there's sadness that comes up around that. I don't know why. Maybe it's just sadness that like for all the time I spent trying to cultivate it in the wrong ways. It's definitely like It's wanting to be witnessed in the process. Like, I feel like what's out there or what's being shown is like the tip of the iceberg and there's so much depth that we're missing out on seeing. And when you see the depth, you see the beauty. And when you see the depth, you see the work. And when you see the depth, you see the whole being and you see the human being and you see the wholeness and the fullness and you stop judging yourself by everyone else's tips of icebergs and you start to see the full expression of who they are. And then you can start to be all of who you are. And you stop denying parts of yourself that you feel like don't fit in with the world and worldly expectations just because you've never seen them expressed before. And this is the bottom of the iceberg. This is what's, <laughs> this is what's below the surface. This is what's in the deep. It's so funny because none of this is scripted and I think that's the beauty of it and why I'm giggling to myself is because so much of who I am will be revealed through these videos and I couldn't have planned any of it and I don't want to plan any of it because I show up best when I'm raw, unfiltered and spontaneous where I literally just fucking hit record on my camera and just let whatever wants to be created through me be created through me. There's so much allowing that needs to happen. Like allowing myself to take up time. Allowing myself to take up space. Just presencing the bullshit limiting idea in my head that you have to be done in 15 minutes. Where else does that show up? Seriously. That shows up in my sex life. I have to come really quickly. Like you have to be done. You have to get your pleasure really quickly. Actually, that came up in my self-pleasure practice today and apparently we're just going there now. But in my self-pleasure practice today, I realized that I had this belief around like, you can't take up time and you can't set aside big chunks of time for your pleasure. I was okay with like 15 minutes. But as soon as I set the timer for 45, every limiting belief in my body was like, every cell in my body was like, no. Nah is self-indulgent, extravagant, way too much, over, like overindulgent, just way too much, like too much, right? And I, like I do that when I'm with a partner or even when I'm with myself. There's this pressure to be like, even though one of my wildest fantasies is to literally have someone say to me, take all the time you need, I'm not going anywhere, I'm still here. And someone to keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up and keep showing up. 
just continually over and over and over again. No matter how hard it is, no matter how many times it takes. That's literally the desire. There's like this desire in me for that. I crave that. That turns me on. <laughs> um, I'm getting really self-conscious about saying that. <laughs> um, but it's like, yeah. This pressure to have it happen fast. Where do we get that from? <sighs> if there's anything I want these videos to be, it's proof. And affirmation, confirmation, that when you speak your truth, time will expand. <laughs>